I still remember, you know, when I first came here, I, you know, I had to sit out a year. I transferred, and uh, you know, I think one of my first games in here, it was so loud. I think it might have gotten a little bit. You know, that was back before the Alphon took any renovations and the roof was like on top of you. But it's insane the, that the energy that they bring and, you know, and I think they know that Ben's got it going in the right direction. I'm sure they're, you know, reading up and following and, and know what's going on. So, I, you know, it's always a special place to be and, uh, you know, the Alphon is just a, a great atmosphere to play. Well, I, I got a call from Ben. I think uh, my first and only conversation until today with him when he called and let me know that I was uh, getting inducted into Maine's Hall of Fame and, you know, and uh, obviously here for that this weekend and couldn't be more happy and uh, honored to be a part of it. And it's, it's great to be back here always. It's been almost 30 years. Um, you know, obviously a lot of familiar faces and all those pictures. Um, a lot of guys that I played with and a lot of guys that I knew and um, you know obviously some uh, sad deals with some of the guys that are gone with, with you know with Sean and, and Red and um, but you know overall it just brings back a lot of great memories of a, of a great part of our lives and obviously our, our championship year that's extra special but uh, it's, it's always nice to come back here. Obviously, pretty special to play with those two guys. I mean, Paul's awards and his mentality and everything he did throughout his career. Obviously, a special player. Um, so smart. And, and the same with Jimmy. I mean, he to have uh, the, the college career that he had, you know, 300 points. Uh, maybe, I don't know how many guys have done that, but uh, both both guys incredibly smart and I was you know just so fortunate that uh, well she gave me the opportunity to play with them and, and we stuck together. I, th I mean, I think uh, obviously Ben has a, a great track record of, of recruiting solid players, and wherever he's gone, they've won. And um, you know, and it seems like he's got some some bigger names as far as uh, you know. The, the I guess the the one guy that got drafted in the first round is exciting to have uh, someone of that caliber here again. And um, you know. I'm not terribly familiar with the history. I mean, you know, I'm in Idaho now, so it's a little hard. But uh, you know, I always try to follow along as as best I can. But it it's, it definitely seems to be trending in the right direction. And um, you know, I, I hope you know, coach has has uh, has it going the right way. It's funny. I just got to talk to him for a minute, and really, you know, they all work so hard. So I, you know, I was like, I mean, you know need to tell them that anymore, but uh, really just to enjoy everything about it. Uh, you know, your time here with your teammates, your, you know, your time with buddies that you make outside of hockey and, you know, the whole college experience and just to really soak it in and enjoy it because it just, it goes by so fast and, um, you know, some guys this may be it for them. I mean, some guys will obviously continue to play and, but you, I guess you really never know and just to, to have fun with it and, like I said, soak it all in. Bears trailing by goal, Chris Himes lost it in front. Pass just can't connect, and a couple of competitors get there, and the Vargas scores! 
Being inducted today into the into the Maine Athletics Hall of Fame, um, you know, I was fortunate enough to get him to come say hi to you guys uh, before practice here. But um, this is Cal's a huge part of the Maine hockey history. You know, probably as much as anybody that's in the rafters here. Um, so I don't know if you have a, a, a word or two. <laughs> you know, I'll put you on the spot. Yeah, to tell a I mean, bit. really, uh, I just enjoy it. So can end. Tell you to work hard, but I'm sure you can work. As hard as you're gonna to get here, but uh, yeah, just enjoy it. It's, it goes by so fast, and then you're done. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, so can you introduce everyone that's here? Yes, my my son Jack, Hello. my wife Kim, Hello. daughter Sarah, Hello. my parents Bill and all. <laughs> you guys are come on in. <laughs> yeah, come on in, guys. We'll come on. Everybody, come on in. Just say hi. You don't have to say anything. Uh, make sure you guys introduce yourselves on the way out. Um, we're getting out to have practice, you guys. Are more than welcome to see yeah, and watch for a little watch bit. For a minute. Did you go see the new scoreboard yet? Not yet. Right, well, not yet. There's a special treat on the scoreboard for you today. So um, we're making a few upgrades for practice. But thank you so much to the whole family for coming here, yeah. and we'll uh, yeah, see you guys afterwards too. So. To begin another college hockey season has come to an end and will drop the puck for real from a newly upgraded Alphonse Arena. It's the RPI engineers against the Maine Black Bears to open the 23-24 season. Mike, this place looks a lot different than it was last time we yeah. were here seven months ago. A lot of upgrades. It's really exciting. New scoreboard. Uh, you know, the place looks great. Uh, and some upgrades on the ice, and I think fans are going to be uh, pleased with what they see out there. The Maine Black Bears had a player taken in the first round last year who will make his uh, debut for the Black Bears tonight. That's freshman Bradley Nadeau. Well, Bradley Nadeau is, uh, is one of those guys that's a dynamic, great offensive, instinctive type of player. He's a real difference maker out there, and he's the type of player that Maine fans have been longing for. Black Bears are 1-0 oh 
to start 23-24. Um, the first 10, 15 minutes of that third period, you guys turned it to a, a new level, right? You saw what you're capable of. Um, we're going to hold you guys to that all year, right? What I love the most about that game is at the end of the game, you guys are still down there trying to take pucks to the back post, freaking hammering them. That's, that, that's the attitude adjustment. Okay, who was it? Freeler and Scotty down there, right? That's, that's what we're looking for. Okay, it doesn't matter the score. I know we talked about it. Hey, we're set the tone for tomorrow night. Right? That's that's the I know what you guys are saying when we say that, but we're still playing. There's five minutes in the game, left in the game. Okay, so we play every shift like it's our last. Like that's the mentality that we have in this in this book. It's a heck of a start. It's a heck of a response after a shaky first uh, few minutes there, right? Um, first goal, right? First we had one first goal tonight. And then uh, we might as well just give him this one too. Yeah. 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 Alright, great first regular season game, boys. Good win, and uh, back at it tomorrow. Yeah. You guys, uh, some of you guys have met uh, Paul, Malachi, Evan. That are they're, they're in here. The uh, three guys that came to visit today. Get, make sure you guys introduce yourselves when you're before you uh, take off tonight. Coaches, anything? Pretty straightforward. Let's uh, get some rest and be ready to work. <coughs> there you go. Let's do it again tomorrow. Yeah. All right. What is it that's going on here today? No, yeah, we're hoping to up for a uh, haunted house for uh, tonight to uh, try and scare the Toronto community. Yeah, we're, we're here today helping set up a haunted house at the, at the Y in Old Town. Just trying to set it up for the community tonight, do a little haunted house, scare some of the locals, and yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Wow. Yeah, I mean, they support us so much, so it's always good to give back when we get a chance. And we weren't playing games this weekend, so we kind of came together as a team and wanted to do something to, to help give back any way we could, and this was kind of the best opportunity we had. Yeah, you know, I think this program is what it is because of the fans, because of the you know, people that come out and support us. So any opportunity we can, we try to give back a little bit. And with the weekend off, by weekend this weekend, this seemed like the perfect opportunity to take some time out of our, our Saturday afternoon and, and give back a little bit. Finale is homecoming weekend. 2023 kicks off. It's the Maine Black Bears against the RPI Engineer.
10 minutes now. Side of the left circle, Holtz, gives to Breen, one-timer, score! Josh Nadeau with his second of the night, a 5-on-3 power play goal, and Maine leads 3-1. Here comes Bradley Nadeau again. Bradley, across, a save, rebound, score! Grayson Harnott on the doorstep. Maine has a 4-1 lead in the final minute of the second. Top of the slot, got it to Poisson. Doesn't have a shooting angle, trying to create one as the penalty ends. They play it to the front, wrap that, they score! Donovan Hall, a one-hander to put it in. It's at even strength, but Maine restores the three-goal lead. And Alex Poisson now for the empty net, he's got it! Um, so, it's never easy to win two games, win one game in college hockey, let alone two, right? Um, obviously, there's some things that you could clean up from tonight, but at the end of the day, the effort's there. And when the effort's there, usually you get what you deserve. And you guys deserve to win both those games this weekend, right? So give yourselves a round of applause. Um, <clears throat> we don't play next weekend, right? So we're going to take a couple, we're going to take the weekend off here. Um, you guys know who our next opponent is, right? You guys know who our next opponent is. It's the defending national championship champions on their rink, right? What a wonderful opportunity. Go out there and show what we can do, right? But um, enjoy this tonight. You know, you guys, uh, you guys are working hard. You're working hard. First two games, you set the tone for, the, for our home, uh, for the Alphon this weekend, which is, uh, which is the toughest place for our opponents to play in college hockey. Okay, um, some first tonight. What we got here? Josh Nadeau's first goal. Yeah. Um, Scotty with his first one as a black man. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, game puck tonight. I'm just gonna stay right here. This kid's working, working his. First weekend, boys. Let's just keep building, keep getting better, and it's gonna be a bright future ahead. Imagine let's it. get up and sing. Let's let's come, on. come on, everybody, let's go. Hey boys, like, you guys set the standard yesterday, right? We gotta keep, make sure we're raising that ceiling, we're raising the floor, right? Every day, so this weekend I know we, we did what we took care of business, we got two wins here, take care of yourselves. Whatever you do, you go out and it's, if you do, then it's take care of your bodies, right? We got a big week, big couple weeks here to get prepped and we got to keep climbing, but we're looking to just keep going up, right? And then we got a, a great test, right? And we we set the stage for that. So, all right, good job. Um, what's the schedule tomorrow? Polly, when are you? Are you in tomorrow? Yeah, I'll talk to the captains and I'll put it on a band. Okay, same with in there. Uh, obviously, there's a football game tomorrow. Go support your uh, your teammates, football team. 
Um, I'm sure we'll all be there. Um, great job, boys. All right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.